That's the sound of paradise in the Cayman Islands. This Western Caribbean destination is actually the Grand Cayman, which is the largest of three islands. And I think you'll find generally the topside experience with the restaurants and the hotels and accommodations really blend in nicely with beautiful water environments. And if you like the outside, you like the ocean, you're going to be laughing if you come here. You get entranced by the people, um, the way of life. The weather's pretty darn good too. <laughs> Peek out of a cabana for an unbelievable view of the famous Seven Mile Beach. Its beautiful shades of turquoise waters and coral sands explains why it's one of the best beaches in the Caribbean. Not only to admire, but also to experience some of the finest scuba diving in the world. The first dive is a deep dive. Um, and that goes over what is known as the Cayman Wall. So it starts in about 50 or 60 feet and then drops very vertically down to about 2,000. We only go about 100, 130 feet at the maximum, um, but it's a, a very, very spectacular diving. The second dive that we do is generally a shallow dive on some of the shallow reefs along Seven Mile Beach. And those are loaded with marine life and turtles and all sorts of bits and pieces. So very, very special diving, very clean, very clear and, and, and very beautiful. During your trip, hop on board a catamaran for an adventure you'll never forget. One of the most popular activities here in the Grand Cayman is stingray city. These stingrays are in their natural environment. They're not uh, enclosed in any way, shape or form, but they're, they're very, very friendly. They're a lovely experience. The stingray are so friendly that they give kisses too. <laughs> Next stop, Rum Point. It's located on the north side of the island and well known for its delicious mudslides. So he puts equal parts of, we use Molly's or Bailey's Irish cream. Uh, we use uh, as well as same as Absolute Vodka and then Kahlua. They take a, an equal parts of ice to equal parts of alcohol, blend it together, shot a Kahlua down the straw, sprinkle of cinnamon and a cherry. And enjoy. It tastes like magic. Now that you've worked up an appetite, enjoy an upscale waterfront dining experience with a little taste of history at Grant Old House. This is built in 1908 as a coconut plantation and as you can see, it's a quite large area we are covering here. And um, everywhere where you now see tables and everything built up, it was just dirt and coconut trees. That's not all. A cigar roller is on site daily for your indulgence. While in the Grand Cayman, dance with the live performers at the wharf. Then sample the national Cayman dish, which is turtle. The turtle steak is, first of all, it's, it's prepared, it's pounded and then, mar and then marinated with herb and garlic. And then it's marinated for overnight. And then it's shortly pan fried. And then it gets tossed in a sauce with sweet peppers, onions, tomatoes and scotch bonnet and some fresh herbs like thyme and rosemary. It's a very casual, uh, fun atmosphere for kids and adults alike. So it's a very friendly place, a very familiar place. And it's just so easy to reach because it's so central to everything. Simply put, Grand Cayman is the perfect island escape for just about everyone. Tamika Jones, CNN.